Do you hear that? Oh, this is totally Gecko. I don't think I was recording when this happened, but Gecko was around here. While I was uh, gathering materials for my giant car croc. And was messing around with the, the note block thing. Gecko has absolutely put like a sniffer note block head down here somewhere. It sounds like it's over here, right? And maybe over that way? What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a warden? I totally thought that was a sniffer. I'm keeping this. Thank you, Gecko, for the head. I've been just a little bit busy. I have, uh, I've done a bunch of stuff with the villagers down there as well, which I got a cat. Look at this fun little cat footage right here. And I've been trading with the villagers. So I I've been in this, this loop <laughs> between videos <laughs> where I'm planting trees, I'm chopping trees, I'm getting sugar cane, I'm getting paper, I'm, I'm killing cows, I'm breeding villagers, I'm trading sticks from the trees I chopped down to get more emeralds, uh, and l look at my inventory, okay? I've got, like, a bunch of pretty good stuff. I don't have a sword. And I, I've had a diamond sword before, but I've not had an enchanted sword. The whole season, it's been like seven months, and I haven't gotten one. So there's a couple uh, enchantments that the villager hole does not have. So I'm trying to get some villagers so I can get that going. Uh, I've been mining, and mining, and mining. I've been doing stuff with these trees, and I made this little tree farm sort of thing that's a little more naturalistic. I did have them lined up in big blobs, and I was chopping them down like this, but then I decided to spread them out, because if you didn't know, this whole area is mine to work with. It's around this giant caldera. I've been calling it the donut, <laughs> and it's just this big circular mountain. And so far, I've only touched this one little bit of it, but I'm starting to expand into it now. Uh, as I've been going up and down the hill, I've been like holding my shovel out, so I'm slowly making some paths. And we're gonna terraform this a little bit as we go, but you know, not, not all at once. Um, and I have a little wheat farm here as well. I have a little composter set up up there. And um, I also snagged a couple of donkeys that were wandering through my trees. So all of that, and then also, let me just, I'm, I'm gonna cheat you into here. Are you ready? We got a lot of them. We also, yeah, there's iron golems popping up all over the place now. I've been trading with this guy a bunch. Uh, we have a fair bit of emeralds right now. Not a huge amount. We could definitely do with more. It's getting very messy though. It's getting incredibly messy. And um, I'm unfortunately gonna show you more mess in here. They're spreading the barrels, the boxes. Uh, I have this heap in the middle and now I have this and I can't stop. There's too many things. I've been chopping down all these trees and everything, right? And. Uh, Getting a bunch of leaves, getting a bunch of uh, wood bits, just so I have resources lying around. And I did this for a long time. Like, I've done this for hours and hours. And, uh, I real. Ooh, ooh, hello. I didn't know that you could spawn on there. I've dropped you. It's fine, it's fine. So... I've done all this. Oh, also, I have this little, uh, this little thing. I think it's from Vanilla Tweaks that shows when saplings are, like, like what growth stage they're in. This is cool. I like it a lot. Anyways, I keep getting distracted. Um, I don't have jungle saplings here. 
I've done all of this, and I have no jungle saplings. So I, like, I could go to a jungle, get some stuff, but I think that I'm just going to uh, look for somebody to rob instead. Oh, there was one other thing I was gonna show you. Goodness, as always, I can't keep track of anything. So I got all these while I was mining <laughs> and I wanna pillar up and see how many diamonds we get. Make your predictions now. Also, I do have 20 more of these that I'm just keeping for building blocks and decorations because you, you never know. You never know, but I've spent so many diamonds recently, especially on those elytra, and I just, I have to fix this. Let's go. Ooh, baby. Now, to be fair, I already had nine in my inventory that I had accidentally mined with this pickaxe while I was mining, but this is the full diamond haul from my mining session. Let's turn this into some blocks. Ooh, 19. Nice, okay. So how many does that mean we have in total? 40 blocks, that's not bad. Could be better, but it's not bad. I am gonna throw some in here, just so I have them if I want to buy or barter at some point. Now, let's go get a jungle sapling. Now, I could go to the jungle. That is an option, it is a possibility. But what if I just quietly try to steal instead. I'm gonna check the the town hall mayor's building stuffs first because these things I actually do have a claim to some of. No jungle in there. An egg. Hey on! Cook it. Hmm, I wonder if my shahavel will have anything Oh my god, the frames at the center of spawn here are just not good. Whoa, oh, this is from, um, Falifrax, I think. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, I'm not looking through the rest of the chest there, I'm bored. I'm going to Dodo's house that, uh, who's that? Not even one. Why doesn't anyone have jungle wood? What are we all doing here? I'm going to the cathedral. Also, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. This is Valifrax. One of the Aussies. Yeah, this... This is epic. That's kind of amazing. Okay, on to the cathedral. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna give it back, okay? This is only temporary. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was gross. This is only temporary. I should have some bone meal in my composters. Don't make fun of me for saying composter. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, please give me more than one sapling. Okay, see, look, that easy, that easy. Wait, but that gave me none. Uh-oh, uh, please give me a, more than one sapling, please. Oh no. It's just one, what do you mean? Please give me multiple. It's just one. What is wrong with this? Well, now I have to go get more bone meal from my other set of composters. Don't look at all the boxes in my backyard. It looks ugly. Like, what is this scam? Okay, that gave me multiple. Finally, finally. I, bet I better get even more. I better get even more. Come on. Four, five. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. So now we're gonna take uh, some trapdoors. 
And I'm only gonna plant four of these over here for now, because obviously I have to give one back to Velxa, but I think... I like how those look as they're growing up. That's really cool. I think I'm gonna do them right in here. Like this. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. And then we just take the trapdoors. And do a little something like this. We are gonna make this look prettier, I promise. Right now, it's very simplistic, just enough to get the job done. See, I know that there's like more efficient farms and stuff that I could set up, but I like the immersion. And I talked about this a little bit in Nearcraft 1 too, but sometimes I don't want to do things the most efficient way. I want to do things in the way that will feel good when I look at them. And sometimes I like being able to walk through this little uh, arboretum. Is that the word? I think it is. And be like, yeah, I'm just gonna gonna pick some tree bits today. And like, it's not a farm. I'm just I'm just living here. I'm just living my life. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, I got a screenshot of this happening earlier as well. I also got screenshots of a bunch of times where you know how you can uh, put a a torch under gravel and it'll break all the gravel as it falls onto it. I tried doing that while mining, and this happened over and over and over again. Does anybody know why? What is this? What have I done? Flying the sapling back to the cathedral. I will deliver you safely. And it's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? You have a bunch of pig people on your walls. Ah, oh, they're just chill. They're like the roof workers, man. They're just on the job. The roof workers. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we got, you know, shock shells. You get half a stack of chests as well, just so you can like craft up like a bunch of shock boxes. Ah, uh, you get the box with anything you buy as well. This is crazy. Uh, to <laughs> yeah, you got totems, like a fifteen diamonds for a box of them. This is a uh, Larry Loose. This is Larry Loose Lips. He's a he's a top employee. Yeah, I saw the name. Um, that's. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Larry. Not Michael. Uh, Michael hates Mondays. This guy like. This guy gets angry. Uh, he's not a relative yeah, of Meat angry. Mouth Michael, is it? Ah, uh, they like they hang out sometimes on weekends, but. Oh, that's unfortunate. So in a, in a box of these, you get all the blocks you need to power the beacon. The block of Australian dollar. <laughs> We're taking over the economy now. So far, we've mostly just had bartering stuff going on, which is, that's great. That's fun. I'm so glad you're bringing in capitalism again. I've missed this. I just want to, I just want to make money, man. I just, can you, I'm trying to like, find someone in the government who can make us ministers of money. You know, I have actually just attempted to rig the election, so I'm th I'm kind of We'll we'll see how it goes when the results are announced. We'll see Can how Can you it make goes. us ministers? I'll, I'll show you. I'll give you follow me, follow me. Okay, okay. Open the chest behind the barrel. <laughs> That's crazy. We've That's got money, we've got money. How have you done all of that? A lot of goodies, a lot of goodies. Okay, I think I'm fine on totems. Uh, eventually, I plan to sell quartz in bulk as well. I've already got some bulk quartz going. If you want to just build something out of quartz. That's fantastic. It'll be a bit, it'll be a bit pricey because it takes a while to farm up, but... There he goes, Michael screaming. Yeah, it's bad. He's having a bad Monday, man. Again? Yeah, it's just every Monday now. He's just in <laughs> agony. Every Monday. Tell me you can't relate to this, man. No, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. Okay. Take my <laughs> 60 diamonds. You gotta press the button. This guy's... Oh, he's Yeah! <laughs> We have a system where we can continuously trade with one villager and their trades will never run out. How? Uh, end portals. The, the end gateways. What in the world? Okay, I mean, yeah. 
if you're offering. Right, I'll show you how it works. Okay. This is this is this is the price I pay for Minister of Money. Is I give you access to one of our most powerful weapons. Deal. Hey, Meat Mouth Michael. How's it going? This feels good. When you open this chest, it retracts the trapdoor and pushes you through the portal. Okay. So you'll stand in here, crouch, and open the chest. Just go through the gateway. Like, crawl through the gate. Okay. Where am I meant to go? Over here? Yeah. So this is the setup for okay. infinite power. I oh, know no, it's pretty complex. You'll be, when you go through the other gateway, you'll come through here and the okay. water will push you. Yes. And you right click the villager. Um, and then after you go through the portal, you sell the villager menu open. Oh. So you trade with the villager after you've gone through the gateway. And when you go back, you open the chest, go back through and he's, he hasn't lost his trade. Oh, I see. So he runs out over here, you go back through, return, he's good again? Yeah. This, uh, don't tell like the bee guys, but there's a bunch of bees in the void. Uh, I don't know how they got there, but <laughs> yeah. You know why there's skulk all over the end? Ah, uh, that's my doing. Yeah, there they are. They escaped from the bee farm that I built in the frozen island. They're doing fine. They're okay. They're just... they're frozen. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I definitely didn't steal anything from your Shahavel after I died. Bye. Damn it. Alright, bye. Well, that was an interesting time. And now we have enough to set up yet another beacon, in addition to the one that Orb gave us that I still haven't set up. I don't know why. I just haven't done it. And, more importantly... <laughs> <laughs> that is 64 shulker boxes. And now we have even more incentive to make sure that we weasel our way into a mayorship. An alliance with the richest people on the server by far. Hello. Where were you? <laughs> Nowhere. That was so fast. I'm just quick. Okay, hang on. I have to put these away. You came so fast. <laughs> Anyways. I like the I like the mud. <laughs> do you like do you like my very professional efficient mud farm over here? I put the dirt in here, I wet it, I dig it. Mine is was even less professional. It was just a hole in the ground. I was not recording last night when you offered your detective services, which is absolutely tragic. Mm -hmm. But I've been messed with. Almost every time I log on to the server, I find something new. At, at Portuga, at here, in my bedroom, and it doesn't stop. I'm trying to remember what the last one was. It might have been the pig. I feel like there's something else, though. Wait, wait, okay, here, tell me, tell me each, each thing you want me to investigate, I'm just gonna write it down. Okay, okay, um, so there were a bunch of signs and a giant, I think it's made out of snow, I haven't actually checked, but there's a big person, a big figure, at Portuga. I see. And then we have the, uh, the pig creature underneath my bed. I feel that there's a big <laughs> one that I'm forgetting, what am I forgetting? This is so annoying. Oh. A violent battle. Oh my goodness. Well, listen, Gecko Gecko did prank me, but I know that it is Gecko. Gecko's done this multiple times. Gecko put a what warden head on um on a uh, what is that called? A redstone clock? On oh, a note yeah. block under my base. Um, yeah, 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 Gecko did that. Yeah. I just know there's a big one I'm forgetting. Okay, your job as a detective is to figure out what I'm not remembering. Gecko seems to be 
a pretty big suspect considering he's already pranked you. And the thing with the signs, you know, he he has a thing with, with signs. Yeah. As after I solved the case of who did the editor was, I now know that's him. So. Yeah, exactly. Insatiable with the signs. You know, you use way more rockets than are necessary. I don't want you to talk to me about my wastefulness. Oh, this. Somebody absolutely did come here and fill up all of the empty spaces in this chest uh, in an attempt to make me make more chests and make a mess. Mm -hmm. So here are the signs. Um, and then there's this humanoid. Well, I mean, it kind of reminds me of those effigies that Gecko built. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, look at me. Just, like, face me a little bit. See, that's that's concerning to me. I don't get it. What are you... You're saying that looks like you? No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Huh? 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 Who does it look like now? That doesn't look good. <laughs> Um, somebody with angry eyebrows. Uh, who does it look like now? Um, me? Yeah. Well, I mean, last time I checked, my eyes weren't off-center on my face, and also, I'm not human-shaped. You're not human-shaped? Where are the wings? Where are the horns? It does say snowhost. Mm -hmm. Does that mean anything? No host? Oh, is it like ghost, but... Oh. Now, I trust your investigatory capabilities. I do have a legal question for you, though. Mm -hmm. If I were to hypothetically steal part of someone's base, who would you... Who's, whose base being stolen would you be least likely to investigate? Maybe Dodo. But he doesn't really have a base right now. Hmm. Yeah, because Dodo's moved back towards spawn. I haven't checked mm. out what he's been up to. Does he have anything yet? There's a few chests, um, a crafting table, and a furnace. And holes in the ground. Can we, can we go pay it a visit? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use so many rockets, you've no idea. Did you just die? On purpose. That was very dramatic, I like that. What is this? Um, it goes down and then there's just three branches that go into dripstone caves that all are oddly similar looking caves. But why, why is the entrance like this? I don't know. Okay. And we have a chicken farm? This is this is new. This was not here last time I came over here. Okay. Same with this AFK box. Or this nether portal. Okay, so what if I just I mean, legally you don't don't look, but um You know, you gotta start small. That's why that's why I have two pairs of eyes. Two for legal stuff, two for non legal stuff. That's <laughs> close your legal eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really tempted to steal his portal, but I don't know if that's too mean. I might settle for this for now and come back for more later. Does he have any signs? He doesn't even have any wood in this chest. There's nothing. <laughs> what is he doing? Is there more information you need for your detectiving though? Private investigators. Really, the only thing that you do with a private investigator is you show them the evidence or, like, what you want them to investigate, and then you pay them. Oh. So. And then you pay them. What What is the price you would want to negotiate? I see. Okay. Um. Because this is... Here, let me look. One, two, three. This is three different cases. This is three different cases. Mm-hmm. Why have I done this? Um, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be a super exorbitant price, especially considering you're my first um, client. You're right. Humble beginnings. <laughs> All right. I spent 60 diamonds 
last night, I'm feeling um, weak and impoverished. Yeah. Wait, what'd you spend 60 diamonds on? Uh, the Aussie's shop. Okay. Okay. No, what are you... <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> How is it check, looking? Read, read, read over this and tell me if it's good. Okay. I abruptly confirm that I have hired Velxa to investigate the following cases. Signs, chest, and snow person at Portuga. Pig creature under bed. The thing Bradley doesn't remember. I agree to pay one diamond in exchange for Velxa's services regarding these cases. Okay. Sign here. Okay. And you can also, you can also like, publish the book. Oh, you want me to, like, sign, sign? Yeah. Got you, got you. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Do you do you, do you usually sleep like every night? Only when I'm working outside. Up? Okay. Have you you haven't had the moon's beams grace your presence yet? Is this about all or the too long? the moon does not love you signs? Well, I'm just wonder I'm just wondering if it has, if you felt any effects, because I've been avoiding, I've either, either I'm underground or I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going outside when the moon is out. Personally, I love the moon and we get along great, but I don't always love the monsters. I see. What have you done to upset her? Apparently have a religion. That is dangerous. It's a lot more dangerous than I thought, considering, um, you know, what's... I've been threatened by two different people now, and I think... Actually, three. Three different people, and one is... They're all getting more and more serious as the days go by. Who's threatened you? There's the moon people, there's the void people, and then there's Gecko. And then there's Gecko. <laughs> Who doesn't get threatened by Gecko, though? But he, he he does it way more consistently. Have the void people actually threatened you? Like they're out to get you? Bradley, let me let me show you something. Okay. Look in there. Oh! Oh, the void is the only god. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I see. And they do have bees trapped in the void, don't they? Exactly. That is pretty direct. Who are the moon people, though? Did you ever figure that out? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh, some detective I have you are. Zero leads. Well, you know, I've I've solved a lot of the cases. There, do you know how full this book is? Yeah. There's what have you solved? Sixteen pages. And how many? How I've many solved... are solved cases? Okay, let me count. I've solved two cases out of nine. Two cases out of nine. Yep. All right, I'm just letting the numbers sink in. Um, not that numbers I are mean, that's everything. More than you've, that's more than you've solved. Well, I haven't been trying to solve anything, have I? Okay, but Wait, so I solved the point. You've solved uh, Gecko being the editor. What's the other one you've solved? Um, the tunnels under spawn. Wait, I feel like I've. there's got to be another one. The tunnels were Ela, was, wasn't it? Yeah. I think I might have just forgot to put the answers in some of these. <laughs> Listen. Uh-huh. It's it's fine. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> So you're you're doing your detectiving and you're you're also how is your mayor race going? Oh, honestly I have no clue. You've no clue. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, what would you do if you won? Become mayor. I'd pro I'd unify spawn, and I'd make the changes that it needs. That is a great politician answer. This is fantastic because I've been messed with all the time. I wish I could remember what other prank I'm forgetting. If you can remember, please let me know. And yes, yeah, so Dodo is living in the forest up there, which, as you can see is not that far away from my place, because here's the wheat field, and then right over this hill, this is my donut.
Now I also have these things here that I took from Dodo. And I would like to begin stealing from more people more often. It's a goal of mine. So I would like to try to get just a few materials here and then let's maybe just put something right here-ish. So obviously, pirate, right? I'm a pirate. So I need to just create a few little spaces like this where I've stolen from people. And then we're just going to kind of put the things that I've stolen down on here. And then I just need a little sign. And we're going to say gifts from Dodo. Oh, did you see that? Ghost. Um, and then we'll put the date. Lovely. And there we can just keep track of the things that we have earned from people. Now that is going to have to just about do it for today. There is more <laughs> to everything that happened in this episode, but it ended up being very long. So that's going to be in a future. Oh, you can see some of it through that window. Don't look. It's going to be in the next one. But before we go, I did want to show you this. I finally have a sword with some enchantments and I'm getting better enchantments on some other things as well. I have some of them laid out in here. These are for the sword, I think. And these are for the ax. And then these are for my bow. So as I continue to rack up more levels, I'm going to continue to add stuff. Let's see if I can do something right now. Does Smite go on an axe? Am I being stupid? I don't know. This doesn't make s I want Silk Touch on this axe. Why do I have these books? Guys, what am I doing? See? There. One more thing down. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then maybe give it a little like an Ashura and a Suscurb and stuff, and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye. Ooh.